But what's good, YouTube, man? We back here with another video. That I say video. That I say video. I'm gonna say bang. Yeah, I know you back here with another reaction. Don't worry, reaction. Got it with the guys, man. You feel me? Pray and Kitty, man. Y'all go subscribe to their channel, man. Go pop up and shit. Yeah, go, yeah, link in the description too, man. You feel me? We were at the email, young boy. He did a um, billion dollar worth of game interview. So, right quick, man. Give me 31 minutes. The game is going down. Salt Lake City, NBA young boy. Yeah, it's up. Regular interviews. Yes. It's going down, baby. Not no more. NBA. Yes. He wanted to be NBA old head, but we ain't let him. Get your nut ass out of here. That ain't a bad rap name if I was going to spit. NBA old head. Oh, then we can pull it up. They would sell seven records. I, I do. I, I guarantee if I put a joint, I could do like about 100,000. That's their thing, baby. That's their thing. That's their thing. That's their thing. That's right. Let's try it There you go. There you go. There you go. Yes, sir. There you go. Yes, sir. Out, you know, trying to, you know, trying to, trying to get a young some game, man. That's got us attention, motivation, and education. You know what I'm saying? Keep us out of jail. Keep us on the right path and get us some money. You feel what I'm saying? That's what it's about. And I feel like we the best to give it. You know what I mean? Anything a young that I'm been through, we done been through. Like he been he did 20 years in jail. You know, I got popped with a load of weed. I done been shot. Few times, so anything it could go through, we've been through. I kind of paid attention to y'all a little bit. I want to congratulate y'all. Appreciate that, man. Mm -hmm. Appreciate that. I'm gonna congratulate you, man. You're 24 years old and you on 80 acres, man. And you've been in the house for three years. I got a long way to go, G. Yeah, and put it out you, here. But you're working, though. Yeah, you know I mean. It's 88. Oh, I ain't mean to do that, buddy. Oh, <laughs> oh scary ass. Yeah. I trusted me, Pete. I thought it was game time. You know, you, know, you got to understand. Said, this you, dude, you on 80 acres, bro, at 24 years old, man. And you done made a load of mistakes, somebody. You know what I mean? That's major. But you're still in position. You feel what I'm saying? As young as make mistakes. That's a part of life. You know what I mean? That's what young do. They make mistakes and then they grow up. For you to still be in position, you've been in the house for three years, man. Most artists, if they're in the house for a year and can't do no shows, if they done, it's over with for them. People don't just want to hear your music. They want to see you. They want to feel you. But you they still smell you. They want to. They want to. <laughs> they want to feel like. Ah, and you can't even give them that, and you still here. And you still stay creative. You know what is your creative process, and how you keep the energy to keep going to keep getting in the studio. And then I know, like, I never felt shot, like, they ain't never marking me like this. Until this day, to them, I seem uncivilized, you know, from what they see, that shit got them blind. Yeah. You know what I mean? But then again, I got to put the blame on me, you know. When you say put the blame on you, what you mean? As far as, like, for the way I'm seen today. Let me tell you something though, right? You should you should never feel, you know, sorry because if you wasn't who you was, you wouldn't be where you at. You feel what I'm saying? It should happen in life. It should happen in life. That's just a part of life. But the reason why people love you is because you're so authentic. You know what I mean? Because no, you ain't putting you ain't putting no cut on this. So you know, people make mistakes, but you here now. 
you grow, I see the growth in you. <laughs> you know what I mean? When I see you, I see the growth. You could be gone like this. Dude. Right, could be gone just like that. So now you know you move, you work smarter and harder. I'll tell you one thing, man. That's a big ass mountain, man. God damn. Is it ever a time where you feel because you've been in the house all these years, you be just sad, man? I feel I get the feeling down sometimes. Yeah, this could like some <laughs> on. But other than that, like I'm too blessed to be stressed, I'm too pressured to be pressed. I don't really, I don't, I don't even really. Feel like that nigga seem too blessed to be stressed and too pressured to be pressed. That nigga rapping right now. Mm -hmm. But other than that, like I'm too blessed to be stressed, I'm too pressured to be pressed. I don't really, I don't, I don't even really. Feel like that. Okay. I don't hang out with none of that shit. And I can take my. You know the beautiful thing about it though? I heard you take accountability. Like, no, I, I you know, people probably look at me because the way I, you know, yeah, I've been a fucked up person in certain situations. And that's the first part of growth is taking accountability. No matter how much money you got, because see, see, see the, the, the biggest problem niggas get is when they get money, they stop listening. You can't, you, you gotta listen when you're winning. You gotta listen when you're winning too. It always gotta be a nigga that's able to pull you to the side and say, no, nah, my we don't do that. No, we can't do that. No, no, that's not a smart move. Yo, get in the van, dog. If you ain't got a nigga that can do that, then you're gonna lose. So the biggest, the biggest celebration today is that you here taking accountability and you not accepting the fact that you got 88 because you got the big house, you got the Lamborghinis, you got all the cars. You like, I got far to go, OG. I'm just getting started. That say a lot. That say you ain't comfortable. It is always important to have motherfuckers around you that if they see you slipping, they say, Neff, listen, man, that, that shit ain't cool. Yeah. <laughs> that say you ain't like comfortable. It is always see. important to have motherfuckers around you that if they see you slipping, they say, Neff, listen, man, that shit ain't cool. Right. I know I got on team. That's what I mean. I don't know. I do this shit by myself. When I do the team, I'm be a motherfucker. What type of team do you need? It's your life, because I need a good lawyer. I need a nigga that stay on top of other music I don't listen to it at all. So they keep me hooked. You know? Mm -hmm. I'm, with, I'm with the new sound. I need a nigga that watch the internet. Because I don't know how to control my emotions. You know, as a man, certain days I ain't great. I admit that. Mm -hmm. I be tripping. Mm -hmm. But I be feeling like people be tripping. But um, I need that right nigga that, that see shit before I see shit. Mm -hmm. And not uh, keep me off Instagram today without even telling me the post shit he's just saying. Mm. It goes deeper than that. Man, my man, man, this shit's so sick, bro. I'm on my last album right now. I just dropped my album. Now I got one more. Six months, I, I'm eligible to drop. You can't stop me. Mm -hmm. I ain't, man, I got, I got some money. I got one. I don't know what I see. I don't know what I'm about to do. I thought I had it, man. I don't know about shit. Now I'm scared another that I'm scared that let another load even fall on me. I'm not having the right team. For you to say it right, and say you just successful, and you need a team. That's real. That's honest. Yep. For you to sit here and say, man, this is so unstructured. Like right? this. I got no, I don't even know it's like this. I got, I got, I got the same people that go out and bring the same deals. But like, it ain't no management. Like, I don't know. Like, if a deal come to me, hey, you got this deal. I bet you took a mission sense to me. You know, I ain't no getting paid for nothing. I ain't no work in my pockets. I ain't no fucking out my money. I ain't never moved like this since I was a child. And that's why, I don't know. I think a lot of people who was in this shit with me coming up, I ain't really with me no more. I ain't going, I ain't, I ain't go for that shit. I always. I feel like I always hear that ad, man. And they crew, I don't give a fuck, basketball player, basketball player, you know, ball player, rapper. They don't work, they work they don't eat. Right, it's you see niggas fall off. Hey, man, it, man, you know what I mean? It's science to the at least two or three labels. Man, that's a lot of people you gotta break up, man. Two or three, four, shit. Production company, label, all type of money. It's a lot of people you gotta break up. You just like, that's all you missing is a team, huh? And right into the bouch. Cause I don't want them to go. Yeah. I, I, I'm cracking that bitch. I'm booting one crack. 
I'm crazy and boot that big team out with the fake game for real. Why you think it's like Hey, I ain't never hear his name. Hey, get out of stuff I always spoke on. I said I playing big games. But it ain't my it ain't my place to speak on it. Yeah, you, you understand this, you understand this. You got 13 billion views on YouTube. The average rapper with a machine ain't got that. Ain't putting that many albums out, ain't got that many videos, and you in the house. Dudes is dudes not on house arrest, and they not doing that. Oh, shit. No, 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 Small. They get big too. Oh yeah. Little bit. Mm -hmm. You're now tuned into me, 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 me. Yes. Million dollars worth of game, man. Yes, sir. You see what we got right now? The biggest. You see what's going on, NBA young boy? <laughs> right, we up in here, man. We in the studio right now. This is where all the magic happened. Listen, Mike, he bought that for a couple of dollars. Uh, he was 17. Where, where, where was he from? California. Guitar Center. Guitar Center. Think about that. He said he still got the same mic. He's look, the MacBook all beat up. So I want to hear no excuses. Apollo. I want to hear so what you got to go the real to the studio work. with the big board in the background. I need all the $30,000 speakers where NBA young boy, biggest in the game, 30 billion streams is doing it right here at the crib. I don't want to hear no excuses from yes. you. Get your ass up in that middle room and make some hits. It's like right therapist, therapist for me though. Oh, this is where you coming at? And this is where this is about? I sleep in my room. Oh, would you be sleeping on the couch? Oh man, so you just sleep on the couch? You no, because he take this shit serious. Yeah, he said this therapy for me. See, other is just this, this is oh, this my only way out. I, I'm all, it's all about the money. This therapy for him. When it's therapy for you, that means you doing something that okay that you mind that you love doing. That's like a mother that love playing basketball. Man, I had a rough day today. Let me go shoot around. When I'm doing that, I'm playing. Don't nothing matter no more. When he doing this, don't nothing matter no more. That's why he winning. What's the longest you stayed in here and just make songs? And how many songs you make? Like consistently? I slept. I finally slept out this room for the first time last night in a month. So you just been in here just going crazy? I got my gun on here and stuff. Damn. Yeah, but I ain't gonna lie, man. He came to Philly. He came to the studio. Yeah, he had that joint for. And that motherfucker didn't leave. <laughs> he was in that mother. He had that bitch on lock. He was in that day in and day out, just recording. So I re I understood then. I said, "Oh, this hustle is different. Totally different. This is different. It's just you got a load of money." And he been in Philly for like five days, and all he been in was at the studio. Did you ever like really see a a, a, a therapist, or you just use this as your therapy? Yeah, I seen him before. And you know, and uh, did you just seen him and kept it going, or you kept seeing him? I kept it going. And, what, and was it working for you? No, yeah, that was something. That was quite, uh, it was quite hard. Right through that process, man. I'm not finna talk to somebody who ain't, who ain't been, through, been through shit I ain't been through. Like, you know, you can't give me your perspective. Like, I ain't just, I ain't just in the room. Yeah. Uh, I ain't just in the room calling for you and just in the middle of the night trying to make, make him say the right to make me feel right. Mm -hmm. I hang up on your ass. I ain't finna lie to myself. Mm -hmm. I feel that too, because I, I wouldn't be, I'm not too eager to go talk to somebody who grew up totally different from me. You don't, how you gonna see shit from my perspective at all? You're not, you don't, Excuse what you've seen through your Maybe. eyes and what I've seen through my fucking eyes growing up, you can't even imagine. You might not even know nobody that ever got even shot at in your life. I seen you shot at nine years old, so, it's two different perspectives. If I got to talk to somebody, it got to be somebody that can understand where I came from and what I grew up in like real, and, oh, and the environments that I grew up in. Oh, I can't really. I don't want to hear the shit you got to say about my life. Yeah, I dig that. You got anybody that you've been to? I mean, I've been to, I've been to my, uh, my homies. I've been to Wallow. You know what I'm saying? I've been to my, I've been to my wife, of course, because she know me the closest. We've been together 20 plus years. You feel what I'm saying? So she know me the closest, but eventing and pillow talking is different. Let me tell you that. 
lot of you can sit down and your homies vent to you and then you go home and you tell all your the homie business to your bitch. <laughs> That's pillow talk. OG don't be talking about real jinx. That nigga gonna be like 50. You talking about Gilly? Yeah, yeah, yeah he, he gotta be. How old? You gotta look that shit. How old Gilly? Y'all tell us. Uh, he said he been married 20, man, he doing good 20 plus years. Oh, yeah, he gotta be about 50, 60. I mean, about 50 something. Patrice White, about 40 something. He gotta be yeah, like, they probably about 40 something. Very close. Yeah, about, about 50. He said he close to 50. Yeah, close. He sound like it too. A little bit. Something personal that we going through, because if I'm going something through some shit, she's going through it too. We won. But a lot of you need to be pillow talking. Stop that shit. Mm -hmm. talk, talking to women about other men. Stop that shit. Yeah, that's 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 out of pocket. What God might got for somebody else, He might got for you in a different way. He might feel as though you your own marketing. You don't need you don't even need the machine behind you, and you got billions of streams, bro. Billions. We not talking about millions. We talk about billions. You got more streams than it is that's on planet Earth. So, you know what I mean? Trust the process. No, because it's, it's motherfuckers out here that got 49 albums out. Them ain't got 300 streams. I think you got 30 billion streams because you special. You, you know should. what I mean? And you got a real fan base. And you, you got a real fan base. You don't got... Like, let's keep it real. A motherfucker... I could post, I could post an album tomorrow. I'm 47. I'm dropping an I'm album. It would be motherfuckers in my comments talking about why I be better. Man, I'm old enough to be that this father. Get the <laughs> yeah. off my comments. <laughs> like, so you got a fan base that's like, vicious. and they, your fan base is vicious trolls. That's who, that's who made me, right? Yeah, them is as vicious trolls. They be a motherfucker. A artist will come out, they'll post their shit. Let them have a little bit of steam with you. Anything that he, he got more. Why well, be it better comments in his shit than regular comments? It's like, what is those? Your fans is really trolls, bro. And they love you. And what they tell you is that when you got a fan base like that, them motherfuckers live and die with you, man. Right. They, them motherfuckers. They buy your merch, they whatever you got going on, they on it. They on it. And that's when you're special. So, you know, I know you understand if I had marketing though, I'd be at 60 billion streams. We'll never want to slap God in the face for the blessings that he's given us. Feel me? Big blessings. And you that out here. So I just want to let you know that now. Appreciate that. Real talk. But uh man. The album is out. Make sure y'all go get that. Y'all go. I ain't got to tell y'all stream it because we already know he'll be at 40 billion streams by next week. <laughs> but make sure y'all go get that, man. I just want to shout out, big shout out to NBA Young Boy because we've been trying to do this interview for like three years. You hear me? Sure. We know he got a lot going on. I ain't ready to turn that on. Yeah, we've been trying to get at you for about three years. But Fee, my shout out to my brother Fee. He been telling me we gonna get it done. We gonna get it done. We gonna get it done, Gilly. Right when it's perfect timing, and we got it done. You brought us to the eighty acre. I, was for, I just want eighty eight. I just want to say that shit again because that's not no light. Shit. There's only one other that I know that got that much land, and his name is Deion Sanders. <laughs> he got a hundred acres. That's a full out there, right? Right, right. So. Yeah, so, legend. So, Hall of Fame. For you to be 24 years old with 88 acres of land, like Fee was like, no, nah, that whole mountain hit. That, yeah, that's all his. What? A mountain? No, you. That whole f mountain, all this sh right here is his. Yeah. I don't know what to do now. This shit, so it's all my motherfucking life, baby. We gotta move, baby. This shit, boy. These 24 year old got mountains and shit. What'd you say? It's what? It's boring. It's boring? So you get bored. Yo, man, you been there for a lot. Two years. Yeah. So basically. Well, the boredom is the life of a rich Most rich motherfuckers is bored. Because most of the motherfuckers that was around you, they burnt you out. 
because they went from being regular ass friends to now they liabilities. Now, your regular homie, you might even can't have a talk with, because every time you talk to him, he giving you all these money. Yeah, man, I'm, oh yeah, I'm a couple months behind on my, but you can't do that, bro. You can't have a regular talk, man, without you giving me a, a sad story, man. Everybody come around, they got sad stories, so you start got to eliminate <laughs> Yeah, I'm just even real. I don't know if you did it, but I eliminate a lot of people. I was about to say, I was about, about to say, I cut a lot of Yeah, everybody can't go. You got three sad stories with me. <laughs> yeah, because, uh, my daughter, yeah, her tuition. I need to get Charles down. I got you. I need to get Charles out Yeah, because I'm three months late on them. So when you got two months late on your rent, you didn't catch up for one of them fucking months. Now you three months. Okay, there you go. Yeah, cause all oh, bitch, there's three, there's three sad stories. Yeah, they get him out of here. You're done. I'm done with you. And how you feel? How you feel about life today? How I feel about life today. Just to be honest with you, bro, it's difficult. You know, I just lost my son. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but yeah, you know, I appreciate that. I struggle every day. You know what I mean? My son was was a year older than you. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I struggle every yeah. day. You know what? When I wake up, that's the first thing I think about. You know what I'm saying? So, but I also know that I got to be strong for my family. What yeah. makes you happy? What make me happy is knowing the fact that out of the history of my mother family life, I, I was the nigga that did it. I was the nigga that said, no, the next generation ain't going to be f***ed up. Because I'm leaving something. Feel me? That's what make me happy at this age. You know what I mean? Other than that, man. You know, when you get to a certain age, it'd be about... It don't even be about you no more. You know what I mean? But it's probably right. What about you? This nigga ain't saying that. You know, uh... The way I see life, I'm just happy to be here, you know. Growing up, I never thought I would make it that far. I don't even think I would be living. So to do all the time in the penitentiary, come home, you know, that was everything. And what makes me happy more than anything is to be able to provide for my family. You know what I'm saying? Uh, especially my brother that got killed. Rest in peace, Rest little in Steve. Rest in peace, cousin Steve. His kids. That's happiness, you know, to me, you know, like... I look at life like I work for them. You know, I do this for them. I do this for my grandma and my mom. So I'm like, that that's that's make me happy more than any of this other sh The cars, the traveling, the jewelry, all that other sh that don't mean that because that stuff come and go. But to be able to have them and to be able to be there for them, where I could have lost my life in the streets, but I made it, that's happiness to me. Getting up every day, uh, being able to open up a refrigerator and make me some food. Like that's happiness to me, like the regular shit. Because, you know, when when, you, when success come and the money come, your bank account change, you you get the cards, you get the jewelry, you got all the all that shit. That's I think this shit, I think my little bit of a 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 it's, 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 that's why when you when you do finally get you some money, when you got people around you that's genuine, man, you keep them off around you forever, man. Don't let no fallouts, don't let no dumb shit, don't let never let none of that type of shit come between y'all because genuine a mother that just like no, I just want to see you win. That's it with no with no. All right, we get money together, we get money together. But the bottom line is, I just want to see you win, yeah. first and foremost. You ain't going to find too many. You ain't going to find too many. But when you do, you keep them close, man. You know what I mean? Cause, because everybody is coming on an angle, man. Everybody, everybody coming on an angle. And the bottom line is this. Lalo did 20 years in jail, right? If he would have came home and was the stock boy at Muff target of walmart nobody would have gave a f they wouldn't call him wouldn't check on him wouldn't none of that 
his, his name would come up. Hey, what's up with Milo? Oh, yeah, he's been working at Walmart now for five years. I think he about to step up the manager. That, that's how that shit would go. Yeah, he done met him, and he done met him a little girl, little girl. She, yeah, you know I mean, they got a little apartment together. They, yeah, they, yeah, that's how it would go. But you come home, you make something of yourself, and now, mom who was on the streets out here their whole life while you was in jail from 17 years old to 37. This is trying to put a finesse move down on you to, to get some money. You've been out here your whole life. It'd be crazy. So, it'd be a little wild, man. I've always been on top, I've always been on top of the money, man. Mm. Ain't never that shit slide. Everything that ain't seem right. I always, you know, Got on top of that shit. Got us be on top of that shit. For sure, for sure. And you can't be afraid to fire a motherfucker. Never. You can't be afraid to let a motherfucker go. There's one thing about us, we are, I, what? Oh, you did some dumb shit? <laughs> Come on in here. <laughs> hey, Come on, stop that shit. Guy, what? Go. There's one thing about us, we are, I, what? Oh, you did some dumb shit? <laughs> Come on in here. <laughs> Yeah, we stopped that check from going to direct deposit. Yeah, go ahead and file for unemployment. We're done. Yeah. Do you do you think <laughs> do you think being on house arrest saved you a lot from a lot of shit? Yeah. In what way? A lot of ways. Self destruction. It taught me how to like, you know, do a lot of shit on my own. Like recording and shit. Like cook, like clean out and <laughs> shit, I got so you can family. See you so I am thankful, but I ain't done too much to really make me to not too much to make me happy. I don't really do too much. Yeah. You miss performing? Yeah, at a time like this, yeah, I go. It's just, it's just, it's just to go out and have some company, but other than that, I ain't moving the feeling for no money. Oh, no, but you know what? When, I don't know how it is now with the younger artists, but when we was growing up, man, it was the making the song process. It was the song is hot process, the song bubbling process. And then it was, I'm about to go rock this bitch process. Right. And that to me was always the greatest process. When you hit that stage and your fans, you feel what I'm saying? Feel your music and they love you for what you do. So for you not to be able to perform in three years and still relevant, <laughs> I thought you would probably be, you know, miss the aspect of not performing. And, you know, you already got the money. The money I ain't even talking about the checks. I'm talking about just the, the, the adrenaline rush of hitting that motherfucking stage. I feel like my fans deserve it. They, they deserve to see me perform. Other than that, I, I'm cool with my four hours. But listen, man, you see what's going on? <laughs> NBA, baby, is going down. Stream the album, buy the album, go get that. Go get it. It's out now. Already you already know. Them, and it's just like that. And right. but look, man, that was a cool, quick, calm little interview, man. Why be finna be off house arrest, man? Y'all don't really know. So you be performing, we gotta go to the. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. it depends on how far. Y'all trying to go to the Hit Bird concert? Man, I'm not Hit Bird. Y'all ain't trying to do Got no way at that, bro. I don't know. But look, man, y'all like, comment, and subscribe, man. Roll 10K, man. We almost there. Yeah, man, I forgot. Yeah, man, criminal for real, for real. Man, criminal for real, criminal for real. Nah, man. But we are on game.